When would you say your road to Rio began in terms of training for this specific Olympic cycle and, and setting your sights on getting there? Um, it started quite a long time ago, really. I mean, um, for me, I pushed for the Beijing Games in 2008, um, crashed a couple of times before and then missed selection. So I gave up the sport for three and a half years. Um, after that, I uh, came back seven months out from London, trying to be optimistic and push, see if I could push a spot for then, and it was just not, not enough time. So pretty much, I guess, six months before London is when I committed to a four-year cycle for this. So What makes you come back up. to the sport after time away from it? Um, good question. It's a, a mixture of things. I, uh, I moved, I was overseas working and um, just living life really without sport and um, I came back to New Zealand for, for some reasons and then um, I got asked to go down to the local, my local club and do some coaching and help out some younger kids because I was back in town and one thing led to another and the passion came back and it all, all grew from there really. So break down, what is the average training day BMXer training for the Olympics? Um, like? Average day depends on the schedule, but I mean, usually one day we'll go to the track and do um, a two, two to two and a half hour session there training, and the opposite days we would do a gym session and a sprint session. So the sprint sessions just um, out on the road or um, somewhere where we can just sprint on our bike, not actually running sprint, but um, get up to speed and build build strength, build speed and power and all that stuff, um, yeah. So what's the process to make the Olympics in New Zealand? It differs from country to country. What do you need to do to actually get a spot in the Games? Um, it's, it's over, the, the New Zealand Olympic Committee look over um, the, the four year cycle, not just um, one year or whatever. Obviously the um, how you're performing in the final year is how they're going to see that the most. Um, but what you can and can't do or you've, you've put on results on paper previously is um, a key thing. Um, you have to make a, a fight top eight finish in, at, a world, at a world pretty much level um, to be even considered. And then um, from there, if there's multiple people doing that, then it's just um, who they see fit can fit, fit their criteria as far as bringing a medal home. And what's the significance of world championships? You said they're in a week or two? Or? Yeah, that's that would be a biggest one because it's the biggest event, worldwide event, just before obviously the games we, and selections are made after this event, so um, for Rio. Yeah. So it's yeah, it has a big weighting on it. How do you, outside of the physical stuff, what do you do to make yourself mentally prepared and mentally tough enough to get in that competition mode that will get you there? Um, we've, in New Zealand we've got a sports psychologist that works with us like really, really closely. Um, the sport, unlike um, track and field and stuff like that, you can um, 100, say for example, a 100 metre sprint, you have your, your lane just to stay in. Um, BMX, you can move lanes after two pedals, so um, if you're not mentally tough, you're going to get cut off pretty quick. So it's, it's about, um, some people work on it once a week, once a month, and um, we're pushed to work on it every single day. So um, when the physicalities get to the top, it's, there, there ain't much splitting one from another. It's more of the, the upstairs game that, that splits it. So yeah, we work on it a lot. And what's your impression of this track? Yeah, it's really good. Um, we haven't ridden it yet. Obviously, it's our first time here today, but um, it definitely looks um, World Cup standard. So. It's um, definitely excited to go ride, hopefully if this wind drops a bit, because wind's always a factor in our sport, but yeah, it looks, it looks amazing. And what's the plan for your week? Just take us through how long you'll be here and, and sort of the significance of this Florida stop on the road to Rio. Um, first of all, I guess it's um, get, getting acclimatised to the temp temperatures, and um, for me personally, I've been in Europe racing over there before this stop, so it's a bit cooler over there right now. and. Um, the humidity is going to be the same as what Colombia is going to be, be like um, and just getting some track time in. Um, the, the, the training volumes dropped a lot from what a normal week would be. As we're going into events, we, you, you pull it back a lot and make sure you're fresh and ready for the event. Um, but yeah, so it's just, we've spent a, 
a lot of time, um, as much as we can really in the heat that we can handle. And yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. No worries. Appreciate it.